Hey y'all, welcome to another video. Guess what we're doing today? We're decorating a dag on porch. By the way, I never wear a hat, but I'm wearing a visor with my bun sticking out, and I feel like it don't look like a trucker hat. It don't look. I feel like I'm not going about to eat myself like to a truck stop. I've got in my mind how I want this, and I kind of told Shane about it, and I was like, "This is how I want it." I don't know how we're going to get it that way, which is the story of my life. I never know how I'm going to get it anyway, but. Shane and me kind of brainstormed a little bit and we think that we can pull off what I'm wanting. So I ordered two really cool couches I have to show you guys from walmart.com. They were on sale and they I saved so much money. I even took a screenshot of how much money I saved to show you guys because I saved so much money getting them in the fall. So I know I said in one of my videos that if I had done a porch makeover, if I had my way of doing a porch makeover, I would do it in the spring and not in the fall when it's windy. But actually, I think it's smart to do it in the fall because all the porch decor and the porch furniture is on sale, like heavy sales on those things. So if you want to get the best bang for your buck, you might want to do it in the fall. Also, Colton forgot to wipe off his Halloween makeup. I'm fucking going to fight. <laughs> we got to stop and get wiped real quick. Just do it like a... So, Old moms used to do take your thumb no. and lick it, and then Ew. oh, oh yeah. yeah, no, 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 that's no. sanitary. <laughs> sure so, this water's not unsanitary. It was questionable to me. <laughs> okay, so we're I'm gonna show you guys the two couches. I got two because my dad wants to come over and watch football on the porch, and. I'll, I'll explain the whole TV situation too because a girlfriend cannot. Uh, I am the only person in my stratosphere that can afford an outdoor TV would be like the mayor of this county because I don't know how anybody there like three thousand dollars for a oh. basic out can you hear my huh? <laughs> for a basic t outdoor TV. So no, that I'll be saving for that for years to come <laughs> but what i can do is i can take a tv we already have put it outside while we watch what we're watching and then bring it back in because obviously it's not weather resistant so i've got to be careful about leaving it out in the weather and the humidity and the rain and the heat and the cold and all that stuff so that's how we're going to work with that we're going to just use tv we already have and whenever we feel like watching a movie out there which is going to be you know a lot during the fall but as it gets colder it won't be so much we're just going to take it in and out i got my rug off amazon already i got my tables my side tables and my little coffee table thing off of amazon already i'll have all that linked down below and then i'll go into detail when i'm showing you guys those things what else did i get you say the rug rug did i say the rug i don't know did you say the rug oh and we gotta get lights up because was they were they blowing at us i don't know who's honking at who but it wasn't us I got lights to go up beside my French doors and I got those off Amazon. Basically, Amazon is where I got half of this. Not sponsored, by the way. Amazon's where I got half of this stuff, majority of this stuff. Um, but they're so pretty and they're so big. And I have two, one on each. Is that a bank? Oh, oh no, they got them covered. Lord, give them, give them. Oh, he might have tried like. Um, oh, I got the canine out. Let's pray right now that whatever's going on that it's a teachable moment for them and they learn the error of their ways if it was the error of their ways and if not let's pray you that just be being detained while they do something I mean, what's that mean if not let's just pray that everything goes smoothly with them okay guys hold on hold on i got the um i have those lights the only thing i need to get out right now is i need to find canvas drop cloths curtains because i got a i got a thing in my mind that i just cannot shake and we're gonna try to make it happen i've got to find clips to go on those drop curtains and very long curtain rods and while we're already messing with the porch i'm gonna go ahead and decorate it for christmas because y'all know i usually decorate on november 1st but with us being in the house and doing all the things and, and I, I fall decorating got behind i got behind on fall decorating already but ooh, what is he doing park there that's a bad parking spot yeah, it's a very bad parking spot you could have went towards the back oh no 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 you turn on his left sir Whoa! Really? We're about to become pancakes. With us doing all the makeovers and stuff and just moving at the beginning of the fall and winter season, like it's been crazy. So while I'm out there messing some stuff up as it is, I'm gonna go ahead and do some Christmas decorating. Not gonna do a whole lot because the budget just doesn't have room for it. But I'm gonna do what I can get away with doing and see just what we can come up with. We're here right now. Shane took the keys with him and it's gonna be beeping nonstop. Oh my gosh. Hold on, there's people pulling up. And I'm a hidden vlogger here. Like, uh, people don't know that I'm vlogging. A lot of people don't know me locally. 
They don't know that I vlog. Put inside your shirt. Put inside my shirt? Put it top. Okay, no, that would be. <laughs> I don't know how I have like 100,000 friends on here and still get weird about vlogging in public. <laughs> So plan for today. It's already the afternoon, so we gotta get on this. Plan for today is we're going to decorate the porch, get as much done as we can this evening as possible, and then finish it up tomorrow. And then add some little spurts of Christmas in there. Cause it's tis the holiday season. It's not really, but it almost is. We always fake it till we make it here. And you know, around Christmas time, I'm completely faking it till I make it. And I'm usually decorating way too early for some people's liking, but just on time for mine. Oh, also people asked about handrails for Nanny. So I'm not gonna do rails around the porch cause it's a ground level porch. But what I am gonna do is I am going to add a rail for Nanny. Somebody on Instagram asked me if I was gonna add a rail for Nanny on the steps. So while we're out and about looking for all that stuff, we also gotta get the stuff for the handrails. Cause like I said, I want Nanny to be completely safe. I don't have to have rails around the two sides there because it's ground level. So if it was two and a half feet off of two and a half to three feet off of the ground it you would have to have a banister according to codes and like building permits and stuff but since it's ground level i don't have to have the banisters around which is why i opted out of those i didn't really want them i like to open and honestly i probably could have gotten away with not doing a railing either but for any sake i'm going to do a railing building codes are tricky right so if you have at least three steps you need a railing and it has to be 34 to 36 inches i believe is what he said um 34 to 36 inches off of the step itself and the spindles in it have to be a certain amount of space apart it has a lot to do with like kids sticking their heads through the railings and stuff like that like you don't want that to be able to happen so i don't know so like i said for nanny satan just to be safe we're going to go ahead and do that that way it passes inspection and everything like that so that's the only not fun part of today's video the rest of the part for us it's probably gonna be fun for y'all because <laughs> we're probably gonna end up messing something up and have to fix it a thousand times but it, the decorating part is going to be the fun part of this video that i'm super excited about thankfully really not any part of this porch wasn't fun like i said if we had to had to like tear out the guts of the porch it would have been a headache because then you're not redoing a deck you're essentially building a new deck and that's a whole nother process than redoing a deck so it could have been a lot worse i'm thankful it wasn't as bad as it was but man this has been a doozy you don't really think about a whole lot of stuff until you're on the phone with like people in high places and you're like do i need a building permit for this i know i'm getting on the nerves <laughs> can i do this so i'm doing this so i'm putting two boards together and button them together do i need a per building permit for that but better say than sorry somehow we ended up here i'll see you guys when we get done y'all want to see my mom fit for the day we got travis kelsey taylor swift jj's moving the camera sweatshirt my a hat my dad gave me this little side satchel thing that's plus size approved adidas workout pants that i've never worked out in and my work crocs that's this and don't forget, don't forget the dog and coffee. I'm going to quickly get, we'll have Shane quickly, get the lights up right here uh, before it gets dark. This is the area in question. So this is where the lights are going. One on each side. Little My little American flag that's been here since we literally moved here <laughs> is finally coming down. That little cowbell is finally coming down. And then our floodlight right here is coming down. And we're putting two of the same. They're like twinsies. Lots. I'm really excited about it because it's just gonna make this area even more brighter because this light is annoying it comes on and goes off like every 10 minutes and then it's motion detected too so it'll be nice to just have lights on all the time back here the cold never bothered me anyway <laughs> that? Might get some chicken eggs in the next, in the few, next few months. months. <laughs> <laughs> you know we're doing far chores singing. <laughs> My child.
Alrighty. Yeah, all the time. Oh, that was close. Oh, wow. You know, you're going to put spots in my eyes, and I'm trying to do some delicate wiring work right now. And I don't know if you realize this, but you're kind of blinded. Best land holder in the world. Why? You couldn't hold steel. I think for children, you could probably hold steel better than you. Now that we can see it's daylight, we're going to work on tucking in these wires into the siding. The only two things I won't be able to do today are the rails because Lowe's did not have as many as I needed in stock. So I ordered them and they'll be here so you guys will be seeing me do that in the next, either the next mobile home mansion video or the next one. It'll just be like a bonus clip of y'all seeing us do that. And then I have a truck scheduled to come out here this week for some filler dirt. This part of the porch right here, this part right, it's always weird because I'm always moving my hand. Right here, this part is about a fourth to a sixth of an inch away from being cold. So in order for us not to have any railings, it has to be a certain amount of length from the ground, to, like ground level. And over here in this corner right here, it's about a fourth to a sixth of an inch now from being from coats. We're doing another portion of a porch in the spring and I need that filler dart there anyway, so we're going ahead and do that. I got my Mrs. Trench Ball from like Matilda. Is that her name, Trench Ball? I got her hairdo and her like whole attire today. <laughs> Nanny came last night and we definitely need the hand railings. Definitely need the hand railings. I've got that filler dirt coming in. It's not going to make a huge difference because it's not off by a lot. But we need that dirt anyway for the future of the porch next year. We're going to be stretching out the porch. And eventually it's going to wrap around the house. But we've got to do it in segments in order to afford that. So, so the filler dirt coming in now is just going to basically have a skip a step next year when we go to work on the addition to this porch. We've also got to fix an area over here. We went ahead and took it down because it's one of the pieces of the wood was splintered and the way it was sandwiched between the other two when i say it i mean the fireplace cord we had the fireplace cord sandwiched between two of the pieces of wood and then we realized that was a really bad idea that it would probably short out really quickly and that fireplace was super expensive so we're going to redo that because they were a little bit crooked anyway because of the slant of the roof we're going to redo it count our losses as just losses and fix it right and with a hole with, for the cord to come through because like I said we don't want to short out that cord anytime soon because that fireplace insert we want it to last a long time for the amount of money we paid for it so we're just going to count our losses and redo it and it'll only take a few minutes the wood we had to take it all down to get that piece of wood that was splintered out and then to put it all back up that won't take us a few minutes though that'll take us maybe 15 minutes so I'm probably going to put those up while Shane works on something else like I said it's, it's just going to be super easy and going to be super quick these lanterns are really cool because they're dusk to dawn lanterns and they're based off of a sensor so the lights come on based off of a sensor and the lights go off based off of a sensor and it's really really cool we had to get this siding removal tool Shane's got it right there the crowbar was too thick I'd never heard of this before but I guess it's good to know these things I think we're gonna, we plan on changing the siding, don't we? To the house at some yeah. point in the future. Yeah, so we'll need it. I can figure out how to use it first. Let me see that. <laughs> oh! Oh! Got it loose. <clears throat> I spoke getting new siding into existence, apparently. The doctor won't know why they're mad. <laughs> Shane just now took this off and he 
repositioned the wiring um, so that it could go up and over so that that part wasn't bumping out and we could seal that crack right there. You can't hardly even see it, Shane. Yeah, that's what that's I was good. thinking. And if I take just a light thing of caulk, I can probably make it look like that didn't even happen. Okay, because we, while we are wanting new siding, it's gonna be a bit, that is not in the budget anytime soon. Not in the budget, not even in the stratosphere in the budget anytime soon. So we're concealing it, caulking it, making sure everything's still sealed and stuff like that. Um, but we don't know what we're doing and we're learning as we go. So I keep stuff like that in here because I always tell you guys I'm not a tutorial channel. I just really enjoy making over my home and I really enjoy sharing it with you guys. And I'm always hoping I can somehow inspire somebody to get out of their comfort zone and try something. Yeah, you're probably gonna mess it up. You're probably gonna mess it up just like we do. 5% of the time we are doing irreparable damage. <laughs> like 5% of the time we're, we're messing some stuff up. But then other 95% of the time, we end up creating some really beautiful things in the house. So that's why I leave stuff like this in here. In here, I could easily edit it out, but I don't want to because I want you to know that if I can do it, if he can do it, do it, then you can do it. And your husband can do it. Your husbands can do it. <laughs> This is still better than what? With that shelf in the single wire that we covered with tape. <laughs> I forgot about the painted duct tape. That it worked. <laughs> See, we are making progress over here. We're learning. Can't you do it faster? We got curtains to hang. Listen, if I can come up with the ability to twitch my nose and it be done, I'll take it. You should really try to come up with that ability. Well, unless it involves witchcraft. witchcraft. No, in Jesus' name. Because I wanted the pair of lanterns, we had to thread this wire, and it was a nightmare, and we cut off way too much. So we ended up having to even shorten it and then rewire the entire second lantern all over again. I think it might be better to cut that off and just rewire. No. Yeah. Don't I got tell a me that. Right here. Oh no. You're the one who wanted. So we're taking off the excess. Yeah. You ever heard that saying about like no sense in crying over spilt milk? Well, there is so much sense to crying over wasted electrical wire. It's like liquid gold. You know the Velveeta cheese? It's like liquid gold to the DIY community. <laughs> That stuff honestly feels like it's dollars to like the millimeters of it. <laughs> it's not really, but still losing even just a couple of inches of it makes me sick. <laughs> so right now we're just shortening up the wire so we have less excess to conceal, which sucks really because that stuff is really expensive and every inch of it counts. We had a bunch that we saved from this roll that we got for future projects. That little bit right there doesn't look like a lot, but it's a lot money-wise. Will you walk us through what you're doing exactly? Yeah, I gotta get the uh, black, white, and copper wires out of here. This is like normal wiring, but this is UFB. So the purpose of this is to be outside. It's weatherproof. Mm -hmm. So this is a little bit thicker. And I gotta get those three out. So it's basically a casing around the three that you need to free. Yeah. So see, there's my round. So there's the black copper and white wires. Yeah, so you gotta strip the coating off the white and the black wires too to make mm -hmm. the copper exposed. Yep. And then, okay. All right. then you take the wire that's in these, which is thinner. And Twist it around your copper here. And you take your nut. And this tightens down on it while at the same time kind of twists that thin wire a little bit better on it. You technically don't have to do it with the ground wire, but I still do it. 
I definitely thought it was going to be way harder doing this electrical work for Shane, but he has gotten so much experience through doing it, through all the DIYs we've done, that it's gotten relatively easier for him, and he just flew through it. All right, let's get Shane the rundown on how I want these curtains, and I'll show you what I got for curtains. Y'all are standing back here next to Shane. For the curtains, so I've got six canvas drop cloths for curtains because it was way more affordable than going the outdoor curtain route. I'm never gonna have them loose, so it's not gonna be like enclosed with curtains. But I have a look and a vibe, vibe that I'm wanting to go off of. This is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking attach them to the ceiling because obviously I don't have a huge nine mile curtain rod to go from here to here. I got six curtain rods, I got six drop cloths. Right here, consider this as an opening. So I'm seeing a tied back curtain there and a tied back curtain there. Okay? Tied back curtain, tied back curtain. And then you're going to have one loose tied back curtain here. Loose. Like just hanging. Oh, not attached to a, a pole mm -hmm. or wall. Okay. Should I do that or should I attach it to the side of this? Just loose? Try it loose and then if it doesn't work, just then you can tie it to that. Okay. Same over here. A loose one. Right here, a tied back curtain. Right here, a tied back curtain. All right. Six in total all around the perimeter of the porch. How wide? I know it's going to be pulled down. Oh, but I want it thick up top. Okay, so, so think Arabian nights, like. Curtains. So you got nine foot by six foot drop cloths. They're chunky. So what I'm saying is, I guess we'll have to do the six foot by wide on the top. The nine foot on the bottom. Whoa! You, I saved you. <laughs> you didn't even touch me. No. Okay. Also, too, your other issue is going to be blue jeans with these things. These were ten, around ten bucks a piece. Okay. So <laughs> well Oh my gosh. So I was saying you're gonna have Hold to do it the up six there. you're gonna have to do the six wide. Oh, for sure. I smell that. It smells like the, what? What do you smell like? Like in the Blazing Fury yeah. and in the Tunnel Rod? What's all that stuff on? Spores. Some custom cuts. Whoa. Now, another question. I don't like your questions. I have to know things if you want me to build them. <laughs> Any more questions? I'm not. This press to conference is about to be over. I'll be back in just a minute. What are you doing? He's going to poop, guarantee it. They're also meant to go through some stuff. So, they're not. I'm not going to give them trauma by putting them out here in the outdoors and putting them on the back porch. They got that burlap feel that I was going for and they're thick and heavy duty. I can also wash these really easily if I have to. 10 or $11. 10 or $11, Kayla said 10 bucks. Versus curtain that will absolutely experience some trauma out here and will not be so easy to keep clean and will not last as long. This also will give me that thicker farmhouse -y touch to my very modern porch because my, my porch is pretty modern. The steps, the way they're made, the lights. Um, the only thing that you could sort of label farmhouse would be the fireplace and it's still a modern version of, fire, of farmhouse. This will add that natural farmhouse touch that I was wanting. I got these in the paint section at Walmart though. I'm not gonna put any holes in it or anything. I am gonna have to hem them. I'm gonna cut them. <laughs> I ain't gonna try hemming them. I could get fabric tape, um, but I feel like them being outdoors, I need to just go ahead and cut them because the fabric tape, I don't know how well it will do out in the elements. But I'm not going to put any holes in them to put them up on the actual curtain rod. I got the clips that hang from the curtain rod that you clip onto the curtains. I did like a drop cloth curtain. That's what it's called. Drop cloth. Oh, this is a drop cloth. Is that why they're called drop cloth curtains? Here I am thinking I'm creating something. <laughs> That's probably what it's called that for. You know how like I did it in the single wide one time. I did it drop cloth curtains with like a sheet and I folded it over and clipped it and it was like a really cheap um, update to the living room back then. Doing the same things with these. Now y'all remember when I said Shane's probably pooping.
Right, this is what we're using for the drop cloth curtains. We're using the canvas drop cloth. You can see here it says heavyweight, durable for painting, home improvement projects, upholstery, and more. Washable and reusable. And we got some clip rings here. These are the seven packs. These are a little bit pricier than the other ones because these are for more heavy duty things. Better quality. And then this is going to be my tie back stuff. Because I ain't paying five dollars a tie back for the gold tassel tie backs that they have at Walmart. The curtain rods in hindsight were such a bad idea. We had them up for maybe six hours and I was like nope this is not going to work. Not only was I just not digging the way that it looked. I was thinking about even though my, how my porch is covered. Elements can still possibly get to them. And will they rust? Will they break? How long do I really have with them? All of the thoughts were going through my head. So, we ended up just chucking the rod idea and going on with something else. We're going to go ahead and see how exactly we're going to tie these back. Because it's not looking promising right now. <laughs> I was having such a difficult time trying to figure out how I was going to tie these back. Because I had them placed in the totally wrong area. I had to go back and replace them in the right area. Okay, yeah. See, that's the that's the look I want to go for. Can you see it? Yeah, I see it. Good. I like, see that. Yeah. So last time y'all saw us, we were playing with curtain rods. That was unnecessary. Not gonna happen. <laughs> we got hooks, and we're gonna just put hooks up there because we don't need curtain rods out here. So I'm gonna take those back, and if I can, can I take them back after I've already used the screws? Yeah, we're gonna put all the screws. Is that rude? Practice. Is that considered rude, though? No, they, they'll wrap it up. Usually what they do is they'll either put it back out there or they put it in their claims department. What the claims department does is they send it back to the company but they get their money back okay okay so we're gonna use hooks I'll, I'll show you why i'll show you why you see how the curtain rod causes there to be the dogs are really mad because they're not out here with us it causes it to be like four inches from the roof i don't like that look no it's just not the vibe it is not the vibe i'm going for so instead of using that we're using nickel cut hooks Right, yeah, nickel cup hooks. That's what Couldn't we're going to put ones. up there. Is there a difference? It was a joke. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I could try to go get some quarter ones, too. <laughs> Silver dollar ones. Those are the ones we're using to go up in. The thing to hold the little hooks that I have, which are these little hooks, which are attached to the canvas claws. Right here. It's still too far down so not only did we remove the rods and add the hooks instead but we placed them in a totally different area like i was telling you guys it looked weird and looked off because it was in the wrong area i had them in front of the beams when they really needed to be beside the beams so i could kind of tie them off to the side of the beam so here we are trying it in the front we tried it in the back and finally we were like you know what let's try it from the side i thought it was a bad idea and it ended up being just what we needed to do we needed to take it from the side so we took a hook on the ceiling and then we took a hook on the beam itself right there in the mid of it and then we tied it to the beam and it looked so much better that way so i decided not to go with curtains on the front area where you walk up the steps but i'm just going to focus them on this side of the porch on the front area right here on the fireplace side of the porch and i'm just going to do two on each side of the beams and then i'm doing one kind of going sweeping off into the fireplace itself that way if i do want to let them them loose i don't plan on letting them loose but if i do it will help because in the morning i spend a lot of my time on this porch now so in the morning the sun comes right through that area and so if i let them loose it'll kind of shade me from the sun while i'm doing my jesus time whatever i'm doing out here on the porch playing with the dogs you guys could probably see the muddy dog prints everywhere all over the porch <laughs> and i i did not think about that when i went with the dark stain i love my dark stain though and i love my dogs so it's just something i'm gonna have to live with but boy they've been loving this porch just about as much as we have not it didn't look bad it just didn't it look bad <laughs> We tried making it work on the front. It would have worked if I had had another beam and it wasn't at a slant, but it is at a slant and I don't have a beam. I still went with this jumbo jute <laughs> to tie back the curtains. I told Shane it looks like large spaghetti, like knots, <laughs> but it did match my rug that you guys will see here in a little bit. So it kind of just coincided together. I cut off the excess on these curtains because it was a lot, they were nine foot. So I cut off about two feet of curtains on the bottom. Nothing says farmhouse like a spaghetti bow. <laughs> I am so excited to show you guys the couches that I got. So they're super cool because like you can make this giant like comfy chair or you can make it like a love seat or you can make it like a chase uh, type of couch. It's foldable and like buildable. I got them for so discounted on walmart.com because of the time that I bought them. So like I said at the beginning of this video, 
I said I should have done it in the spring, but in reality, in the spring, porch furniture prices are up there. In the fall, that's when they start going down. So, you might want to think about if you're in, ever in the market for porch decor and stuff, definitely shopping in the fall when everything's on sale. Because it really like, does make a difference. We also want fall time porch nights. So. Yeah, fall time porch nights. I'm really excited to see these put together. I heard on the reviews that they could be a little tricky putting them together, but Shane's really good at putting there stuff together. Fine. So. Let's see. But I really like how they're buildable. You can literally make it, it's like three in one. So you can literally make it three different ways and it's foldable. So you don't have to take it apart to build the second way or the third way. Like you can just fold it. You can do all three ways without taking it apart and building it three different ways. I was told that this is going to be so complicating that it's going to take two hours to build one of these things. You want me to try work on the other one? Nope. I'm taking your challenge. All right. We got our stopwatch. Ready. On your mark. Get set. Go. Nine minutes, 25 seconds. <laughs> okay, do you like it? Yeah. Now, how will you I, change it? How do you fix it? Because it goes, okay, guys. It goes from this to a chase to a couch. Just grab the end, pull up, lay it down. <gasps> what, guys? And then... Okay, now what if I want to do a couch? Okay. This next part I'm gonna do for my OG friends on here who if y'all have been here you know I used to get I used to get comments on time why in the world do you not cut off your tags off your pillows? That was my most commented comment there for the longest time when I started my channel is why in the world don't you cut off your tags or your tags are bothering me, please cut them off. I didn't know you're supposed to cut off tags to you guys, so I learned something all them years, two years ago. You got your tags off your pillows and stuff, if you know you're going to keep them. Because it makes it look a lot cleaner and nicer if they don't have the tags flying everywhere. And it's really not, not that hard and it only takes like two seconds. I can't tell you why I didn't, never did that. Why I just did you never do that? Never knew about... I mean, I, I guess I knew in my mind that you could cut the tags off, but I just didn't. Man, you know what? You couldn't have done any better than if you had tried. What? The curtains match this. I know, right? And they, yeah. Perfectly. That's Thank impressive. You. Thank you. One down. One to go. You got to build the next one. I should have got three. But it just wasn't in the budget. I you wish I had gotten three. But when we have company over, my dad's over here and stuff like that. Can y'all see me? Yeah. Um, we'll just fold it out into a chase or a couch and do it that way.
of Christmas decor that I got that was new for the porch was from Ross. I just went in there and was hoping to find things that I was going to get at Hobby Lobby but for a way cheaper price. So I was going to go get garland from Hobby Lobby but Hobby Lobby's garland can be pretty pricey. So I found the garland at Ross for less than $15. I think it was $12.99. But I needed to go the cheaper route because well Binks, Tater, Blue Jeans, and Moon Pie. have a blessed morning evening night whatever it is wherever you're at know that i love you but jesus christmas time shane killed it all right i'll see y'all later